Hi, it's Jeff Hanwerger from GoldStockTrades.com. It's December 5th, Wednesday. It's in the morning, and I want to update my uh, viewers and uh, fellow traders on the importance of what's going on technically in the markets. Yesterday, we saw a major bearish short attack reversal on the S&T 500. As you can see here, it we heard news on Monday of a supposed trade truce, trade war truce, uh, a breakout above the 50 day low volume fake out. This is a bull trap. And the next day we had a high volume, much more selling than buying the day before. Breakdown, a failure at the 50 day and breaks below the 200 day moving average. The shorts are in charge right now. They're taking down the cannabis sector. They've already taken down the crypto sector. They will take down any sector that has overbought and overvalued for the past year. They've been probably, the smart money has been moving into cash. And uh, the shorts are now taking an aggressive move here on some of these overbought sectors and sectors with a, a lot of debt, uh, extremely high PE levels. Uh, it's 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 a strong takedown already. Housing's hit. Uh, many of the housing stocks are getting hit. I expect it to go into the banking area. Deutsche Bank is already looking very ugly. A lot of the other banking stocks are beginning to look like they're turning over. So the shorts are in control. It's time to be defensive. Um, we are going to see if these this double bottom in October and November holds. But right now, we have a very bearish reversal at the 50-day moving average and uh, might be a good opportunity to get defensive, um, to go to, to, to be short the stock market, some of the areas that we think are going to be good. Um, yesterday, we saw that gold and silver and the precious metals were able to hold their own. Um, so finally, we're beginning to see gold and silver beginning to break out. So looking at the gold ETF, we're beginning to see that breakout, uh, beautiful base setup and a cup and handle breakout in gold. And that means that the junior miners are going to be uh, coming back into favor. And it's one of the few areas that the shorts really can not attack because they've been attacking it already for many, many years, and it's already down at levels. Many stocks, or some stocks are trading at, at working capital. Um, and the venture's already been hit down to 1999 levels, despite gold being $1,500 plus Canadian, and despite copper being almost $3 still. So the gold price is beginning to really make a base and break out. Take a look at silver too. It's building up a nice base. It's not breaking through that low. It's already been um, holding that low, and we're seeing some accumulation here. So, a uh, $14 breakout here is going to be crucial and getting above the 200 day moving average. Uh, silver is beginning to look. I'd like to see it close at the high of the day, but um, let's look to see if silver can base and break out. And get back into favor, but gold definitely looks still stronger than silver, technically from a technical perspective. As you can see here by the chart on the financials, the 200-day moving average, which was rising for so long, is now finally beginning to descend down and act as resistance here, and the bears are and the selling is stronger. So this is a time to be careful. The financial sector, Deutsche Bank is the one that's leading down the European banks, but now the U.S. banks are beginning to turn over. Citigroup, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and the home builders. So this is a time to be quite cautious. The markets are beginning to turn, make some turning points here, especially in the financials and the home builders. And what does that mean for us? Gold mining investors that have been beaten down for so long. From 1999, the dot-com era, the gold mining stocks were ignored for 
new dot com stocks. Similar today, we saw in recent times the crypto bubble. Mining stocks have been ignored for the crypto bubble. Mining stocks have been ignored for the cannabis bubble. Uh, now that's becoming, the shorts are hitting the cannabis area. This week, Afria had a major uh, investigative short report that came out that showed a lot of red flags. And it's just what happens in bull markets is these valuations are just way too high. And people are caught up with greed. And, uh, and this is the way that bubbles begin to burst. But we warned you about this all summer long. We saw the warning signs. We saw the interest rates um, rising. We saw the risks of a breakdown in the market. And this is what's happening now. But we are positioned um, in good gold mining companies and, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more interest return to the beaten down mining sector and the values and the opportunities that are there are are really exciting. Um, but stay tuned as we are still in tax loss selling. We have, what, two, three weeks left of that. So I do expect to, there to be a lot of volatility over the next couple of weeks. But um, I expect to see a lot more winners uh, in the precious metals. And uh, money coming back into uh, the the junior mining sector, as we saw back in the early 2000s after the dot com bubble burst, and now we're beginning to see the Fang stocks and Apple, the leaders, beginning to get really hit hard, similar to that time. So we may see this rotation into the junior mining sector. So stay tuned to goldstocktrades.com. Lots of developments are happening uh, in the junior mining sector. Lots of news, I expect, emerging producers um, that are going to possibly be taken out. I think there's going to be a lot of consolidation happening because, you know, companies are looking, gonna, looking to come out of the spare market and I remember in the last bear market, in the credit crisis, and when we had that that um, rally, we had that two-year rally in the mining stocks, when uh, we saw some great mergers happen in mid-tiers that came uh, to become into existence and, and uh, generate lots of free cash flow. So stay tuned to goldstocktrades.com. Lots of developments happening. December 5th, almost a few weeks left of tax loss selling, but I expect now with gold bottoming and the junior so beaten down to see a real snap V-shaped uh, powerful reversal um, like we've seen before, like at the end of 2015. But this time it could even go up um, and have more staying power because we have the trade wars um, big news today, ha Linus is having issues with their the one rare earth producer outside of China. Malaysia is coming down on them. So we have a lot of these commodities, these precious metals, these special commodities needed for clean energy and our infrastructure, our steel sector. A lot of that depends on China. That, I think, could be changing um, as China starts importing a lot of these metals for the first time and looks to expand their infrastructure and their own economy. Uh, I think that this is the time for us that have been waiting for so long for the commodity sector to rebound. We've been in a bear market for so long now in the commodities market and I think that we're finally ready to to make a significant significant rally um, you know, this long bear market in the mining sector has created such an imbalance. Demand's increasing, but the supply 
and the exploration and the development is so little. There's just so few companies and those few companies that are, are left are trading literally at pennies now with the venture so TSX venture so low. But the economies and the cities and the demand for these commodities are continue, continuing to grow, to grow, especially in the emerging economies. And, uh, you know, we saw that, that China, who's been an exporter of all these metals, are finally beginning to import things like rare earths and, uh, and, and base metals. And the most important point is to remember this, is that commodities and precious metals, they tend to be negatively correlated. They run separately than the financial sector, than the stocks and the bonds. We haven't really seen that. We've seen stocks down, we've seen commodities down, we've seen precious metals down. Everything's down except the dollar this year. But that's not gonna last. Usually when stocks down and bonds are down, commodities go up. So you gotta be diversified. You gotta have some commodity exposure. You gotta be have some tangible assets now. Okay, because right now the biggest risk right now is these financials. Deutsche Bank, credit risk. Uh, so commodities tangible. So make sure you own your precious metals. Make sure you use you, you own some really good junior miners because when this sector returns back comes back into favor, these things can go up and we've seen that before exponentially. Stay tuned and have a great week and end of 2018. Happy Hanukkah, happy holidays to everyone, and uh, enjoy this year end. All the best. Thank you.